I am here today to talk with Max Winkler, um, the director and writer of the new movie Jungle Land. Um, this movie stars Charlie Hunnam, Jack O'Connell, and Jessica Barden, and uh, it is currently playing in select theaters and also uh, available when this uploads. Uh, it'll be available on VOD. So, Max, thank you so much for joining uh, me on this uh, in this conversation. I appreciate it. I appreciate being here. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Um, I like to start off with um, you as a filmmaker telling uh, everyone about what this movie is about. So, you can can you just kind of give us a, a little synopsis about the film? Yeah, it's a you know, it's kind of like um, a take or a nod to like of mice and men. It's about two brothers who kind of go from town to town in the northeast parts of America and one brother is kind of a hustler and and kind of um, finds himself getting into trouble and the younger brother's a really good guy and and um, he's a really talented boxer and they go from town to town until the older brother kind of wears out their welcome and then they have to start over all over again and um, the movie picks up with these two brothers in Fall River Massachusetts and the older brother has gotten them into some trouble again with uh, a wager that he's placed that doesn't come to fruition. And um, they uh, get sort of a, a job from a guy named Pepper who's played brilliantly by Jonathan Majors that um, he's not gonna kill them if they will um, just drop off this girl uh, in Reno at a pet shop on the way to San Francisco to their next fight. And they say yes and the rest of it happens right and it's it's interesting the things that happen along the way and kind of um experiencing the conflicts that happen um between the brothers between uh this girl that they have to take and and uh and one of the things i really liked about the film was the conversations that they all have with each other um mm -hmm. along the way um i am interested in what inspired you to to write and and make this movie i love um, I love love stories, you know, that are, and I, I always saw this movie as a love story between the two brothers, you know, and these guys are so enmeshed with each other and such a huge part of each other's identity and kind of the best thing for them would be to kind of break up and walk the other way, but they're not there yet when we meet them. And I just thought it was a really interesting way to tell a love story between two men and, and, um, who don't necessarily have the exact language and communication skills to tell them that they love each other, but they have to go. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, I, and kind of like talking about with like the conversations and, and, and these characters interacting with each other. I think that the characters are very, very well written. It's, it, I, you're right. It is very much a love story between these brothers. I mean, obviously you're right. You wrote the movie, but. Um, no, I could, but... I've been wrong before. <laughs> um, but I do think that the characters are, are so well written. Um, I, it, it makes me wonder kind of what inspired this relationship between these brothers and, and also the, the component of, of, this, uh, of this girl that they have to take to Reno. Like, where did these characters come from? Are there inspirations that, um, that, that you drew from to create these characters? And, uh, and what was your ultimate goal with them? You never really know. The initial kernel of the idea was given to me by one of my favorite actors in the world and a frequent collaborator of mine, Jake Johnson was in my first movie and, and we've done a million things together. And he had kind of pitched me a version of it that I, I started writing really early with my co-writers, David Branson Smith and Teddy Bressman for Jake actually to act in. And that was like 10 years ago and things changed and Jake and I are still best friends, but you know, he kind of outgrew the part and whatever it was, or just, just felt like, you know, he didn't want to travel and go and do it. And so for me, I love, movies about men you know I, I love I love I mean, my last movie was entirely about women but I, I I also you know I love I love five easy pieces I love the last detail I love the king of Marvin Gardens I loved good time I love like I loved HUD with Paul Newman um Butch Cassidy and Sundance like I, I just love men are so stupid in so many ways they have such a hard time communicating with each other women are such better communicators and um, I think that actually can create a kind of messy good 
dynamic, you know, when there is the, the, there is a good communicator in the movie, but it's it's the person who's kind of outside of the love story, which is Jessica Barden's character, Sky. Yeah, no, I I mean, in preparing for this movie, I did or this interview, I mean, I did have the opportunity to go back and and watch your your other two films that you directed, um, uh, Ceremony and Flower. Um, and it is those dynamics between the characters are is exactly what you're saying, and I picked up on it in these in these movies um, with uh, with ceremony that relationship between you know the the two guys and how it you know how kind of complicated it is and with how different their personalities are, right? Yeah. And then yeah, and then of course in Flower with with um, you know the daughter and the mom and how totally. they yeah it's it's the complexities behind these characters um and their relationships is great and and, and that dynamic absolutely trans translated in jungle land very well i think um they are and, similar they are they're not like what you would notice on paper similar but there is a lot of similarities between the three things yeah absolutely and uh, and i appreciate that in your work um yeah you've been you've been in filmmaking and the film uh or at least the entertainment industry for a long time uh can you tell me about the progression of your career in, in entertainment? Yeah, I just keep making stuff, you know, I'm trying my best and trying to take risks and trying to do things that I hadn't done before and that, you know, I haven't seen in recently and that's something that I feel like I can, I can do. And I try, I don't think, I mean, I started when I was younger, everything was planned. It was going to be this and jungling was going to be my second movie. And then quickly you learn that that's not how it necessarily works. And, these things come and they change and they evolve and and you have to sort of assess them as they happen and i my favorite part of it is 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 casting the actors and then really letting the actors take over the characters and the greatest you know my greatest accomplishment i think if there is one is just working with really talented actors and 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 helping facilitate great performances in in all of them from people you've seen and people you haven't. And that's just, there's a man with a cane walking behind, with a walking staff walking behind. <laughs> Get him on here. Um, and that's, yeah, that's this, my- this is, that's, this, is Bell, this is Bellingham. Yes, that was <laughs> very good. That, that, I think I just saw Father Time walking behind us. Um, <laughs> that is, that's the joy I get out of the job. You know, so much of the job is is punishing and hard and and talking about it is hard for me and releasing things and letting go is hard for me. but the greatest thing is being in that in you know in that pizzeria scene and seeing those three actors go at each other and the dog is barking and feeling like you're a part of something really special and that that's just casting really great actors and letting them do their job um absolutely i'm actually happy that you brought up casting because that was something that i wanted to ask you about jungle land is interestingly enough the three lead actors are from the uk yeah. Um, how did that work out? Like, what? Had, yeah. How did that? Well, was that random, it, it wasn't an initiative. They're three of my favorite actors, you know, mm -hmm. and happen to be from England. But like most English actors, they do really good American accents. And we had a great dialect coach named Wendy Overly, who actually passed away recently, and I want to honor her because she did such a tremendous job. And there, there's no, there was no cultural divide. These guys weren't raised in Buckingham Palace. You know what I mean? Charlie's from Newcastle. Jack's from Derby. Jess is from Yorkshire. Like, there's way more similarities to where these actors are from, even though it's in England, to Fall River and New Bedford and 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 the areas we shot in than a lot of American actors who are from LA or New York City. You know what I mean? Like it, the the. Uh, where they were from didn't matter to me because they so deeply related to the characters because of the people they know and how they grew up and what kind of movies and stories they want to tell. Yeah, they really did. They worked very well together in this movie. The chemistry was just perfect between right. all three of them and their and their different dynamics with each other. Um, yeah, excellent casting there. I mean, it is interesting that that's kind of how I felt with where they're from, but um, you know, they seem to really embody their characters, and right. that was you know that's what's important there. Um, you've done, like I mentioned, you've been in the entertainment industry for a while now, and you've, you've done, um, uh, projects from across the whole gambit of, of storytelling. Um, I, I was actually interested, are you, do you prefer TV? Because you, you directed some episodes of New Girl, which is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite shows uh, that, has, that has ever been on TV. 
Um, but do you prefer uh, television uh, um, storytelling, uh, short films, or feature length films? I, I think, I don't know. It depends. I, I think movies are my favorite, my favorite thing to do. I like that they have an ending. And um, mm. I like, um, I like, I like the challenge of that. Cool. Um, so you, I guess right before I officially started, you mentioned that your next project takes place in the Pacific Northwest, which I'm very proud of, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. Uh, can you tell us kind of about what you're working on? Sure. It's a movie I'm going to make with Charlie Hunnam, and it's about, um, it's a true story, but based on a book called Denali about a guy who basically lived in a sprinter van in oh, great. Pacific Northwest and was part of the sort of dirtbag generation going from place to place and rock climbing and surfing and and just was kind of sick of his life and and his his family and his job and just looked for another way of life and and became a part of this sort of traveling community and and um, it's based on the memoir by this guy named Ben Moon who who's a terrific writer and filmmaker and he made a short film based on his relationship with his dog who had been with him through all of these incredible drastic changes. Um, and it's a movie also about kind of like man's search for meaning, um, but with a dog. <laughs> when you add a dog, any project is better, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, every every movie with, with animals is, uh, is always fun and, uh, and adorable to watch. Mm. Um, I That does make me wonder, I mean, obviously we're currently in the middle of a, um, of, a, of a pandemic and that's affected all of our lives and how we go about um, you know, our daily lives, not to mention our work. How has COVID affected you and, and the project that you're working on, the projects that you're working on um, or, or how you go about making those projects now? Yeah, I mean, writing this movie, I thought about COVID a lot, the, the, the movie I'm gonna make with Charlie because so much of the movie is just a guy and a dog and it's all outside. And I, I was thoughtful of that because it, I just come back from a pilot I had shot that is back up and going for a, a television show that's shooting in Dallas called Cruel Summer. And I was there doing some reshoots and things move slower and shooting is, is just different now. And um, I think for at least the next movie, I'm gonna to try to keep it as small and contained as possible as far as how many people are involved and, and try to be really thoughtful about it. Yeah, so I mean, that's great. I'm, I'm really looking forward to what you have coming up next. I mean, you. you're, you, yes, your, your work just seems to be getting better and better and yeah. it just really makes me excited about what you have going on. Really so um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, jumping really quick back to Jungle Land and, and I do wanna bring this to a close here soon. Um, but jumping really quick back to Jungle Land, I, I am interested in what you want people to take away from that movie. What do you think is the ultimate um, thing that you want people to internalize about that film? Just that stories and movies can be about any people from any part of society. You know what I mean? It, uh, it, 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 that, that there's no such thing as small stories only small movies and and these guys you know are kind of like a forgotten fringe of of society and um i think they all deserve a, a movie about them and i think there's a sense of hope in the end and i think there's um i don't know i think there's a real um i think there's a beautiful love story, you know, in there between these these two brothers who are, are, are trying to figure out how to say goodbye to each other. And um, I'm excited for people to see that. I'm excited for people to see the actors in it because Charlie Hunnam, Jack O'Connell, Jessica Barden, Jonathan Majors are all genius in it. And I, um, I, I just, I'm so proud of their work. Yeah, yeah, that's just like it's like we mentioned the stellar cast, and honestly, it's one of the things that drew me to this project and that drew me to your work. So um, you. I'm really happy that I had this opportunity to to check out the movie, to talk with you, and you get yeah. more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, it, uh, I guess is there anything else that you'd like to communicate to viewers, or anything that you'd uh, you'd like to uh, close out on? No, I'm I'm happy. I feel like we covered a lot. I really appreciate it. I, I want to. Bellingham looks wild. 
Yeah, oh, Bellingham's great. Like I said, when you're when you're up here, if you're filming in this area, you gotta uh, you gotta stop by. It's great up here. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Well, Max, thank you so much for taking this time. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, Jungle Land is, like I said, currently uh, screening in select theaters and also uh, available on VOD. So thanks for tuning in, everyone, and uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, man. Take care.